continue and we'll get started on our orientation. I know, okay, Nurse Seastone's gonna be joining us too and she was, I gave her the wrong, I missed a number when I gave it to her in the email, so I just sent it to her. Um, oh, here she is. Okay. Good morning, Nurse Easton. Sorry about the confusion. <laughs> okay. So I am going to share my screen and I'm going to start our, I learned a fun new trick this morning. I, there we go. Okay, so here is, oh, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to see the waiting room from here. Do you know, Ms. Johnson, if I'm sharing, will I be able to see the waiting room? No, that's by, um, it's Nurse Easton, your help. Can you make her the co-host and then she'll be able to see the waiting room for you. Yeah, let me stop sharing. Um, I'm here. I can watch the waiting room. You just um, click over her, her picture, Debbie. Okay. Okay. And there should be like three dots mm -hmm. or so. And it, it should yes, be like yes, I see it. Okay, no, make co-host. Not you. I meant, yeah, make co-host. Okay, I'll do that. Oh, wrong Debbie. Sorry. Yeah, sorry, wrong Debbie. And then <laughs> you should be able to see the waiting room so that okay. you can let people in while she's presenting. Yep, so I'm going to admit Kevin. There you Got go. It. You already yep. see it. Perfect. Yep. Okay. Done. Thank you. I appreciate that. Okay. So That's I so am. Cute. Hey, Miss Bennett. Yes. Before you get started, I just want to say good morning to all the boys and girls in the families. I'm going to try to hit all three kindergarten classes today. So I just wanted to make sure that I had a chance to say hi to your class. Welcome to West Mount Elementary. Um, I know this is a different start to our year, but rest assured you are in great hands with Mrs. Bennett. Um, she's been working really hard to make sure this is the best possible virtual year uh, for you and your child. So in case I have to log out before I get another chance, I just wanted to say hi and say good morning and welcome. Thank you. Nurse Easton, do you want to introduce yourself? Hi, welcome back everyone. So I'm Mrs. Easton, the school nurse. So glad to be here. So happy to be back with all of you. Virtually, we're going to get this done. There's a lot of fun learning that's going to go on. So I also just, I'm going to say I have a Google Classroom. I also have a uh, office hours. I'll send that out to all the parents later, but I'm just happy to be here. Thank you, Ms. Bennett. Thank you. Okay, um, so if you can just make sure that your, um, your microphone is muted and we'll go ahead and get started. Um, I'm Ms. Bennett and um, this is our kindergarten team. There's uh, myself here and uh, Miss Richards in the back and Miss Smith in the back and then up here in the front is Miss Palmquist and Miss Robertson um, and I have to share my son was at West Mound and he had Miss Robertson for kindergarten and he had Miss Palmquist for third grade so your kids are in great hands we have a wonderful kindergarten team and I'm so excited to be working with them. So here's just a little bit about me. Um, I love the Buckeyes. Online, <laughs> solamente. No, online. En pública, puse. All right, let me go back a little bit. Um, can you make sure that your microphone's muted, please? Um, I love sunflowers and dragonflies, so I wanted to put some sunflowers and dragonflies in my room. Um, I'm a fan of the Cleveland Indians. My son plays baseball, so um, I, you know, we, we love the Indians. And uh, so this is just a little bit about me. Here's my family. Um, this is my daughter and my grandson. He just turned four. And my son, this is his, his picture from last year's birthday. He's 12 now. Um, 
this is my uh, family from when we went to Hawaii, my mom and um, my kids and my grandson, we went last year for his birthday to celebrate with his family because his family's from Hawaii. Um, I thought this was a fun picture. My son, when we were at the zoo, um, stuck his head in the dinosaur <laughs> on the boat ride. So that was kind of fun. Um, here's another Hawaii picture. Here's our great staff at West Mound. We have a Shoes with Santa every year um, that's sponsored by Rock City Church. Um, and all the kids get shoes. So hopefully we'll be able to do that this year, fingers crossed. And here are my fur babies. I didn't put my bunny and I do have a bunny and I should have put a picture of my bunny, but I, I just kind of ran out of time. So here are my dogs, um, Athena and Apollo, and um, they are loud and they bark a lot. And I hope they don't bark while I'm doing this presentation, but if they do, I apologize. <laughs> so, the first day of school is Tuesday. Um, classes will begin at nine o'clock. We have lunch from 12 to one, and the day ends at 3.30. Um, you'll have some live office hours with uh, the teachers and the support team. Um, I, as I, you know, I'm always available through Class Dojo. You, if I've had contact with you, you have my cell phone number. Um, so you are welcome to text me or send me a message on Class Dojo anytime you have a question or something happens, a problem, um, you know, technology is not reliable. So if you're trying to log in and you can't, just shoot me a text and, you know, we'll, we'll get it figured out. So to start off, we are asking everybody to have a space. Each child should have their own learning space, if you have the space in your house, away from televisions. I know some of the older grades passed out some of those um, dividers. That should help a little bit. Just a table and a chair it doesn't necessarily have to be a desk. Facing away from televisions, make sure they don't have cell phones, um, no video games in front of them because we need to make sure our limited time online needs to be, um, they need to be able to focus on what we're doing. Um, I, we'll get to this in a little bit, but you might want to even get them some headphones. We did not provide headphones, but if that's something that you want, um, you are certainly able to uh, use headphones. It will help block out some of that outside distraction. Um, hold on, I think we, okay. And um, in your learning backpack, we'll kind of go through that in a few minutes, um, just to make sure that everybody knows what's in there and what you have. Are there any questions so far? I don't want to go too fast. How do we check in our daughters for attendance? Okay, um, there's actually a page on the slideshow that I'll go through step by step on how to do that. Okay, that's a good question. Thank you. Okay, so dress code. I know it's more laid back than school, but we want to make sure that the kids are covered. They need to have a shirt on, you know, no, no thin straps. Um, shorts on um you know especially with the younger ones we will be getting up and singing and dancing and we don't want anybody showing you know underpants or anything like that so um it would be a more productive day if they're dressed and not in their pajamas um you know blankets and, and stuffed animals will be distracting if they have that in their learning space so if we could kind of avoid those things that would be great um, you know, school code is, is no pictures of, of violence or profanity um, or anything like that. Um, Ms. Bennett, if yes. I can interrupt for just a sure. moment. The yeah. chat box is saying they can't hear very well. They're wondering if you're able to mute everybody. <laughs> or if everybody could mute themselves. <laughs> I think that's better. Can you guys still hear me? Okay. Okay. Um, and clothing and, you know, a, whatever you're wearing should not distract from the other kids learning. So those are um, actually district requirements, not just West Mound, so. Okay. So most of you were able to come in and pick up your learning backpacks. 
And um, in the learning backpack, you had a baggie with pencils, crayons, scissors, glue stick, and dry erase marker. Um, you also had a math manipulative bag that had some counters and some linking blocks. Um, what else? In your learning folder, you have um, your laminated letter page. And I'll, when we get to that, I'll show you how to use that. Um, there's a laminated name writing. Um, that way your child can learn how to properly write their name. Um, that's what the, the dry erase marker is for. Um, there's a name tag um, that, you know, we always put it on their table at school. So if they have their space set up for learning, you can put that on the table so they have their, their learning space. Um, some of the other things that were in there were the Know It, Show It book, which we'll use with our um, reading program. There's a writer's notebook, a foundation's journal, a regular plain whiteboard, um, your math manipulatives, your math book, and we had a little goodie bag of treats in there. So the first week of school, at the end of the learning day, we'll have a snack together. So there's enough there for the first four days of school. Um, so hopefully the kids didn't get into that yet. <laughs> so in the learning backpack, these supplies are important for lear virtual learning at home. We have everything in there that they're gonna need for the first few weeks of school. Um, so what we are asking of you as parents to please make sure that they have access to the learning backpack while we are on and learning. Once the learning day is over, we want that zipped up and put up so it's because it's not to play with. Um, we just want to make sure that nothing gets lost because a lot of those things are going to have to come back to school when we do get back into the building. The math book, the foundations book, the HMH book. Um, so all of those things are going to have to come back to school. We don't have enough to give everybody extras if you lose it. So please, please, please make sure that those are put up and not, um, um, we just don't want the items to get lost in there. Okay, so I know this is going to look a little overwhelming, but we're going to work up to it. We're not going to jump right in and start right away. So the first week of school, we're only going to do one live Zoom meeting for the whole class, and that'll be at nine o'clock. We'll be on maybe an hour maybe not quite that long. It depends on how quickly we can get through there. Um, on the Wednesday of the first week, I am going to show a video um, introducing the kids to the iReady Learning Diagnostic because they have to do that for reading and math. Um, and then in the afternoon during that first week, we're going to start one-on-one -on -one appointments for so I can make sure they know what letters they know, what sounds they know, um, counting numbers, just so I know where they are. Um, so that's going to be the first week. Um, the very first week on Friday, there's a meet the specials um, teachers. So your music teacher, your art teacher, librarian, Jim, uh, Mrs. Barber, our counselor. So they're all going to be in that meeting. Um, so you'll get to meet all of those folks on the first week Friday, so next week on Friday at two o'clock. So that schedule is there for you. Um, we will do kind of a quick at the end of the day wrap up to make sure the kids don't have any questions. Um, we'll do that at three o'clock, just kind of jump on for 10 or 15 minutes. I can answer questions. Um, you know, we can kind of talk about how they felt through the day. And then on Wednesdays, we're going to leave that open until 345 for you parents. So if you have any questions for us, if you want to do shout outs for your kids, I would love to hear, you know, successes, um, whatever you, you know, this is going to be a time for you to brag about. We did this this week and it was awesome. Um, so those, those kinds of things will happen on those Wednesdays. Eventually, we're going to work up to this schedule that you see, uh, the TAN schedule. So we'll start our day doing our morning meeting and math. Um, that means calendar, math time. We'll have a break um, for about 10 or 15 minutes. They can get a drink of water, get a snack, um, go to the bathroom, do what they need to do. We'll come back and do small groups. And this will be just me doing small groups for math. So I'll give you a schedule of what time you need to log back in for small group. Um, the independent time, once we get all the testing done, they'll be doing some assignments in their math books and on iReady. 
Um, the I ready time should only be about 10 or 20 minutes a day, maybe just like 10 or 15 minutes a day, um, in addition to a little bit of work in their math book. After that, at 1115, we'll hop back on and do our reading lessons. I'll do foundations, which is our phonics. Um, the HMH into reading is our new reading program. And hopefully I'll be able to get all that done in that uh, 45 minute period. Um, I got to change that time because that's not right. We'll go right up until 12 o'clock. We won't log off at 1145. From 12 to 1, they have lunch. That is school wide. Everybody, so siblings will be able to eat together. That way you're not making 14 lunches a day. Um, after, whoops, after lunch, I will um, have them broken out into small groups for reading. I will be pulling small groups. Ms. Richards will be pulling small groups. She's going to be jumping on right now. She's in Ms. Palmquist meeting right now, but when she jumps on, I'll let her introduce herself. Um, so the two of us are going to be pulling small groups to work with letters, sounds, um, sight words, whatever it is, you know, we'll just meet your child where they are. Um, but like I said, that schedule we're going to work up to over a couple of weeks. They have specials every day at two o'clock. So on Monday, they'll have music. On Tuesday, they'll have art. On Wednesday is library. On Thursday is uh, social emotional learning. And on Friday, they'll have gym. And then um, at three o'clock, we'll have our wrap up. Any questions about the schedule? No? Okay, well, I'll keep going. <clears throat> <coughs> Sorry about that. So um, Columbus City Schools provides breakfast and lunches for families that need it. Um, we do have a lot of families that need that extra help and that's absolutely okay. We're so excited that West Mound is actually gonna be a pickup location for this school year. So meals will be provided in five day packs. So when you pick it up, you're gonna pick up five breakfasts and five lunches um, for however many kids you have. Um, it will be on Wednesdays. I don't see, is that right, Ms. Seastone? On Wednesdays is the food pickup? For, say again, I'm sorry, Ms. Bennett. Uh, the food pickup will be on Wednesdays, is that right? Do you know? I'll double check that and I'll put it in the chat room. Yes, I'll get back, okay. I'm gonna double check, okay. Okay, I'm pretty sure it's on Wednesdays, except for next week, next week it will be on Tuesday, and then the weeks after there it will be on, on Wednesdays. Um, you can go in while, while I while I have you. Uh, we also had a question in the chat room. Okay. That uh, we're be. Can you send the slide to emails for anyone who's at work right now who's multitasking? So can you send the slide presentation? It's actually in our Clever app, and I'll show you how to get to that in a few minutes. Great. Okay. Right. Thank you. It's already in there. Okay. Um, the food sites are open from 11 to 1 <clears throat> and again from 5 to 7. So if you have to go after work, you have that option to go in the evenings to pick up food if you need it. <sighs> okay, class dojo. This is where I am going to do most of our communication. I will put messages in our class story. Um, if I have to contact you one on one, um, which I've had to do for a couple of families already, um, I had some, the math books came in yesterday and some kids have picked up their math book, uh, their learning backpacks and didn't get their math books. So they came back to pick those up. So it's just a really great way to communicate. If you have not connected and you still need to connect, um, just send me a text and I will, I will get that information to you again. Okay, I know this is a lot of information. The slides are going to be available for you so you can go back and look through it at your at your leisure, but I just want to make sure I'm kind of covering everything. Um, make sure when the kids are getting on the computers, their hands are clean. Um, make sure the computer is on a hard, flat surface. We don't want them working on the floor because it could get spills or stepped on or broken. Um, so on a hard surface, a table or, um, you know, any kind of kitchen table or whatever you have available. Um, only use teacher approved programs and websites. I have a lot of websites that I have linked to our Clever account, which I'll show you when we get to it. Um, and all of it, some of it's not academic, some of it is. Um, there's some fun sites for the kids to do for some brain breaks and things like that. Um, when it's time to take a break, 
please encourage your kids to get up and get away from the computer. Those 15 minutes are going to be so important. They can, you know, a lot of times last week we had computer meetings all day, every day, and it was exhausting. So at breaks and lunchtime, I went outside and walked around my court. I just had to get out of the house for a minute. So please make sure it's very important for them to get up and get away from the computer when they can. Um, no food or drink near the computers that will avoid spills um, and, you know, make sure that nothing gets, uh, you know, food gets on the computer. Um, make sure that their Chromebooks are charged up so you can do that overnight. Um, if, you know, the battery on my computer doesn't last all day, so I have my plug right here. So whenever it tells me my battery's running low, I just plug it right back in. So just make sure that the charger is available. Um, here's some information. If you have some technical issues, you can call the help desk or you can email the help desk um, or you can send me a message on, on Dojo or send me a text. Okay, so those of you that picked up your learning backpacks, you have a card that looks like this and it's on the outside of your backpack. There's also another one stapled on the inside of the folder inside your backpack. That is how you're going to have your child log into the Chromebook. They have to put that number. They have to put the at columbus.k12.oh.us. And then they have to put in their password with dashes. So make sure you put those dashes in there for their birthday um, to log in. So everybody's is unique. They have their own number and their own birthday. They also need to put that information in to log into Clever. And we'll get to that in just a minute. So when you type into the Chromebook, when you open the Chromebook, it'll pop up, you put in your number um, and your password and you should be able to get right into your Chromebook. Clever is what we will use all the time. You will be on Clever every single day. I have put a link to the attendance, to Zoom, to Seesaw, which I haven't, well, I haven't done Seesaw yet, but because I'm still working on that Seesaw classroom, um, but Class Dojo. So let's, let me get out of here for a minute. And I am going to go to Clever. So here's Clever. You should have this little blue C on your computer. You're going to log in with Active Directory, just like it says here. And then it'll say log in as a student for you. So I'm logging in as a teacher. So yours might look a little bit different. When you get here, you're going to see this little box. It says Kindergarten, Bennett's Kindergarten All Stars. So that's where you're going to go. And under here, I have daily links. Here's our attendance link. This will take you right to Parent Portal. So when you just click on that, it takes you right over to the Parent Portal and you can do your attendance. And there is a sheet explaining exactly how to do that, okay? Here's a link for Zoom. Um, the link doesn't work right now. It's for an, my, my Zoom meetings from last year, but I will get that link fixed before we start on Tuesday. Here's a link that takes you right to Class Dojo. Um, I ready, which is their reading and math. Um, studies weekly is social studies, mystery science. And right here, this purple question mark, that's the parent orientation slide that I'm going through. So you click on that and it'll take you right to the slides that we're going to going through right now. Okay, so that's in your clever. It's available for you to use in your daily links. It's right there for you. Here's some uh, reading apps that we use, kids A to Z. Storyline Online, ABC Ya, yeah, and Starfall. You click on those. Those are just for fun. Um, I might have later on, maybe in like October-ish, we might start doing some stuff in, in um, Kids A to Z, just kind of depending on our time and how things go. Um, here's some for just for fun, Go Noodle. There's a lot of fun little songs that they can do brain breaks. Um, PBS Kids, they can watch videos. Um, PBS Learning Media is a, is a learning site, so they can, they can watch educational videos. Um, here's COSI's website and the Columbus Zoo. They can watch some live videos about, um, well, maybe not live, but there's videos with animals in their cages and stuff. So 
those are just for fun, but those are there for you to use every day whenever you need them, okay? Um, when you go into Clever, you may have to sign back in like you did um, with your login, like you do to sign into the computer um, with the card, okay? And I will add Seesaw on there too, because that's where our, if you have to submit an assignment, you'll submit that on Seesaw. Okay. Um, here are directions on how to register for Parent Portal if you have not done that. I'm not gonna go through this. You can read it on your own. Um, you'll need an activation code from the secretary to get started. There's a lot of information there. Here's your step-by-step -step instructions on how to do attendance, okay? Sign into Infinite Campus, the parent portal, which is on Clever. Open the Today tab, select your attendance box. Um, if you have more than one student, you'll have to select the students that you're checking in. Um, they'll ask you, is your student here? You have to click yes, and then you're checked in. So again, that's in the slideshow for you to use if you need to get back and um, if you don't remember how to do that. Okay, testing. So the first week, I'm gonna do one-on-one -on -one testing. That's just, I'm gonna hold up letters and you know they're gonna say the letter or I don't know, or the sounds or I don't know, and that's just kind of helps me know where to, to start. The most important thing that I need you guys to know with testing, and Ms. Richards is gonna do the testing and she's on here, so I'll let her say hi in just a minute. But this test for math and reading is going to design the path that your children will be working on independently. Please do not help them with this test. If they don't know an answer, they need to get it wrong. That way, they can work independently. Otherwise, if you're helping them with the test, then when they go to do their independent working path, they're not gonna know what to do and they're gonna be constantly bothering you, mom, I don't know how to do this, dad, I don't know how to do this. So let them get the answers wrong if they don't know. Now, you're absolutely welcome to help them with technical problems or um, you know those kinds of things. But as far as the actual test and the answers, they need to do that on their own. Um, Ms. Richards, I'll let you introduce yourself and say something about testing if you want. <laughs> hi, boys and girls. I just wanted to say hi. I'm Mrs. Richards, and I will be in with Ms. Bennett, and I just wanted to welcome you to kindergarten, and we're going to learn a lot. So don't, the testing is okay. It's just to see what you know and what we need to work with. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Ms. Richards. Yeah, it's it's not a it's not you know a good or bad thing. It's just it this test will help design their learning path. So what they know, it, it they design the the learning path ba based on how they answer the questions. So if they can do that on their own, they'll be able to do their learning path on their own, and that'll help them grow. So, and then Ms. Richards and I will be pulling the small small groups for independent work in the afternoons too. Any questions about testing or clever before I keep going? I think we're getting close to the end. No questions? Yes, clever is where <clears throat> we find them in for their attendance? Yes. Yeah, I mean, I okay. have everything linked up on clever. So you sign into clever and you can get to class dojo, you can get to seesaw, you can get to zoom meetings. It's all in there. Okay, I tried to make it as easy okay. for you as I could. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's see. Next slide. Um, this slide is just saying, you know, you can get to um, iReady through Clever. Um, help them with technical issues if, you know, if they don't know how to click or do something, that's fine. But, um, you know, if they start struggling and getting frustrated and I don't know how to do this, just be positive. Just say, you know what, honey, this is okay. Um, you've got this. Just do your best because everybody's best is different and mistakes are okay. And, you know, we're learning and that's, that's what school's all about. So mistakes are okay. It's how we learn. Okay. 
I need for you guys to know patience, flexibility, and grace. You got to give yourself grace. We are all in this together. I am here for you. I am here for your kids. Um, Miss Richards is here for you. We have a whole family at West Mound of teachers and staff who are just ready to embrace your family. Um, <clears throat> we have this technology thing is new to everybody. I have been learning and learning and learning all summer. I, and I'm still learning. I, I had to get on to a YouTube video this morning to learn how to save my Zoom recording because I don't know how to do that. So hopefully I'll be able to figure it out. Um, and I'm still learning on how to post assignments in Seesaw. So I'm still learning. We're gonna learn together. Um, I will post a, um, a tutorial for you guys um, on how to use Seesaw um, as soon as I have that up and ready to go. Um, and just give yourself grace. You know, we all have to be graceful with each other and we're in this together. So I know that was a lot. Um, so questions, anybody, anything? I have a question. Sure. So um, when we have these morning meetings, or I guess I should say on Tuesday at nine when we start, mm -hmm. do, are we going to have a specific Zoom meeting code and password to put in again, or will it automatically be available once we go through Clever and click Zoom? Will it just open that way, or will we get a new meeting, meeting um, code and everything each time? Well, in a perfect world, <laughs> It will be the same code and the same link every time. So when you go in there, you click on Zoom, it should link us right to the meeting. I've, I've, I haven't done that. It's my old one from last year that's in there, but I'll change that today. Um, you will have to put a passcode in. And I believe I set the passcode for Bennett with a capital B. I'll put it in Class Dojo so you know, um, but it won't change. I will have a separate, um, a separate Zoom for small group. And I will put that, I'll make sure that you know, I'll put Zoom daily meetings, I'll put Zoom small group meetings, and I'll put Zoom parent meetings. And that way they're all in um, Clever and I'll use the same password for all of them just to make it a little bit easier, okay? Okay, perfect. Does that help? I hope. <laughs> all right, so this picture of me down here, I don't know if it'll work for me, yeah. So if you click on that picture, It'll kind of, it'll take you to another, it'll link you over here. There's a um, school calendar. So if you click on here, it'll take you right to the Columbus City Schools calendar. Um, the daily schedule, I need to adjust. This is not right. Um, I made that before we adjusted our schedule. Um, class expectations that you can look at. And this is the important one. That's my email address and my phone number. You can call me, you can text me. Please don't get frustrated. Call me, reach out, I'm here, I'm available. I will help as much as I can. If I can't help you, I will find someone who can, okay? So, I know that was a lot. You have a question in the chat, did you get to it? No, can you read it to me? Okay, I gotta find it again. Okay, and let me get out of um, here. Are there special codes yeah. to get to extra apps? Is that the one you answered? Um, no, actually, let's go back into Clever and I'll show you. <clears throat> um, so when your child wants to get into Class Dojo, you just click there and it takes you right to Class Dojo. You don't have to put a code in. Of course yeah, they they tried to explore yesterday, but it wouldn't allow them. What what did they try to explore? Do you can you help me out with that? Uh, this is Aaliyah's mom. There were special codes to get into extra apps on Clever under the classes. We attempted to explore yesterday and it wouldn't allow us. Okay, it might have been because I was working on them. Maybe I'm not real sure. Um, but like if you because I tried them last night and they all worked. So this is Storyline Online. You can just click on the story and it'll start reading it to you. Um, so I would say try it again today and see if you can. And then if not, um, message 
Miss Bennett on Dojo and they wouldn't see. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think I checked all the apps last night because I, um, they were all kind of generic pictures and I tried to put in pictures so it's a little more recognizable for the kids so they know what to get on. Um, so yeah, if you still have trouble today, just text me and we'll, okay. we'll try to figure yeah. it out together. Ms. Bennett, yes, I want to circle back. Somebody had a question about food services. Okay, yeah. So the information I have is that food services at West Mound is available for pickup between 11 and one and five to seven. I, and I put that in the chat box. Thank you. Okay, Excuse me, teacher. I have a question for, for Camilla's mother. Okay. I'm, I am I, uh, Camila's grandmother, and the problem is that uh, her mother don't speak English. In that case, what we can do it. Okay. Well, I know with class She's here dojo, with me, but she um, on mm -hmm. class dojo, she can translate everything in class dojo to Spanish. Um, as, okay. Good. As far as the other apps I don't know anybody have a suggestion or see some do you have any idea you know let me check on that I frequently use our ESL department there's a phone number I call they translate everything for me let me check with them and see if they have anything in place may I ask who I need to call back who's who's wondering in your class uh, I'm I Her audio is not working real well. Um, I think it's Harmony's. Harmony's mom. Or if she wants to type it in the chat box, just if you could, hopefully you can hear me. I will double check on that and I will find out what our options are for that. It's actually an, an amazing question. Very good question. Is that, I will double check that. For, is that for Angel? Grandma? For Angel? Is that right? You know what, I'll write Angel down and Harmony. I kind of know Harmony's mom. I'll check uh, on Angel, but I'll find that out, Miss Bennett. Okay, um, I, I'm just for my own records, I'm gonna make sure I know who all's here. Um, so if I say your child's name, can you just kind of pop off of mute and just say, yeah, we're here. That way I can keep track and I can send a message to the parents so they know where to look for the record, the uh, slideshow and the recording. So Aaliyah, do we have somebody from Aaliyah's family here? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, thank you. Um, somebody from Kevin's family, I thought I saw Kevin. Yes. Yes, I, hi. Okay, thank you. Um, mm -hmm. Tyler's family. I'm, so, I'm sorry? Is, do we have anybody from Tyler's family here? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, she put in the chat box. I'm Tyler's that's, mom. That's I'm Barbara. Here. She is here. Yes. Okay. Um, Tyler's mom, did you pick up a backpack yesterday? Let me look in the. I thought she did, but. Okay. All right. Um, Aisha, is Aisha's mom here? Yep, we're here. Hi there. How, Hi. About, Chloe? How about Chloe's family? No, I think she had to work today. How about Aaron's family? Nathan's family? No. Um, Emiliano. I think mom said she had to work today too. Um, Angel? I think that was grandma. Um, Kaylana. I mean, I'm here. Okay. Hey, did you um did you see my message on Class Dojo today? No. Okay. Did you picked up the or her sister somebody picked up the backpack yesterday? Was that you? Yeah. Yep. Okay. We packed it up. Okay. Did did I give you the right backpack? Was yeah, I had their name on it. Okay, because Miss Johnson said that you guys didn't pick it up. You got a Chromebook too, right? Yep. 
I thought you did. Okay. Yeah, she was the last one you saw, I think. Right. But Miss Johnson sent me an email and said she didn't pick up her backpack. So I that's why I was like, wait, did I give her the wrong one? <laughs> okay. We got it. Okay, perfect. How about Isabella? We have anybody from Isabella's family here? Okay, how about Jordan? Yes. Yes, okay. I did see Jordan this morning. How about Camila? Okay, all right, perfect. Well, I will contact those families and let them know where to find this information. Anything else that I can help you with or answer right now, anybody? Yes, I have a question. <laughs> Just to make sure I'm completely understanding everything, because this is like my first child, you know, going to school and all that. Um, so like when she logs onto the Chromebook, mm -hmm. where exactly would she go next for her assignment? Okay. What, what would I click on? Great question. So you're going to go to Chrome, which is the little colored circle. It should be at the bottom. Mm -hmm. It'll pop up at the bottom. So go to Chrome. And then next to the web browser in the top, there'll be a little blue box that has a C in it. And that's Clever. Or you can type in Clever.com. Okay. Awesome. Oh. And that's where her assignments will be at? That's where um, all of those other apps will be. And then for additional assignments, that'll be in Seesaw. I don't have Seesaw in Clever yet because I'm still working on Seesaw. That's what okay. kindergarten's using. The other grades are using um, Google Classroom, but we're gonna use Seesaw because it's more, it's more okay. user friendly for the littles. Thank you. Okay, got uh -huh. it, thank you. Okay. You're welcome. Anybody yeah, else? Lot. It is a lot, it absolutely is a lot. Ms. Bennett, if I may, for a moment. Sure. This is Ms. Seastone, the school nurse. And since I have you all here, I just wanted to remind uh, all of our parents about immunizations. Please make sure your kiddos are up to date uh, for, the, for the school year. And because uh, more than ever, it's very important that our kids are vaccinated for preventable diseases. So if you make sure your kiddo's up to date. Call your doctor, check. If they're not up to date, I'll be contacting you and we can chat about that. And again, I have a Google Classroom and I will have office hours from 10 to 11 every single day. And that information is in the, there was a packet that you picked up when you came in to do Chromebooks or, or school, uh, school supply pickup. In that packet, all of my information is in there. So please contact me if you need health information, whatever you need. Just check that, uh, but but make sure those vaccinations are up to date. Thank you, Ms. Bennett. Thank you. Um, I forgot we have two more friends. Um, is there anybody from Richard's family on here? How about Brian's family? Okay, I'll contact them. Ms. Bennett, I've been watching the admit button and it hasn't come up, so I hope that I'm not doing any anything um, Wrong. I don't okay. see anybody in the waiting room. Okay. Okay. I, I, I stopped sharing. So I don't, yeah, I don't see anybody there. So, okay. Well, um, take a deep breath. <laughs> We've got this. We're in this together. It's going to be a great school year. I am going to try my very best to keep it so fun and interactive, even though I'm sitting at home. This is my office. Um, I, as I said earlier, I love dragonflies and sunflowers. I have these little lights. They're like mason jars with dragonflies on them. It just makes me, kind of puts me in my happy place. I'll kind of show you around my room a little bit. Um, I have our foundations alphabet. I have an easel that I brought from school. Uh, my bookshelf over there has all of my teaching supplies on there. Um, our foundations kit, our second step, and my reading cards. Um, and this is my workspace. <laughs> so I have my little area set up. Um, I have my kindergarten shirt on, so kindergarten crew, Ms. Bennett, that's me. Um, so we're ready to start Tuesday. We are going to hit the hit the road running. So I'm so excited. Please, 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 not bothering me at all. Call me, text me, message me on Dojo. I'm here. I'm available. I'm here to help. Okay. All right. I'm going to stop recording.